My name is Dave Roberts. I work for a company called OSI Soft. Um, we like to think of ourselves as the greatest company nobody's ever heard of. Uh, we make something called the Pi System. Pi System is a software system that's used to acquire massive volumes of time series data and sensor data that Nick and Michael were talking about. So in a city or in a factory or in a utility, uh, our system is used to acquire and store these very, very large um, chunks of time series data. Um, we've been at this for 36 years. Our company was founded in 1980. Uh, we started by going into a refinery and our CEO and founder was a process engineer and he found out that he spent about six months of his time going to all the individual processes in the refinery just to gather the data. And then he actually spent about two weeks of his time doing the engineering on the data and he had an aha moment that said, gee, maybe I should quit being an engineer and be a plumber and start figuring out how I'm going to collect all this data. Um, we've evolved a lot over 35 years and we think of data as an infrastructure. And we'd like to think of that infrastructure, that data infrastructure as a public good. Um, and we want to uh, see that data connectivity to, to all the critical infrastructures in the city. So Michael talked about what were previously silos the water infrastructure, the gas infrastructure, the power infrastructure, the wastewater infrastructure, the telecommunications infrastructure. All of those are critical physical infrastructures. They're all going to have billions and billions of sensors and they're going to have connectivity and wireless things coming together. We present this idea of a data infrastructure that connects all those silos together and brings that data together into one common data infrastructure that you can do lots of interesting things with. We also believe in this concept of quiet enjoyment. How many people in here use Excel? Everybody use Excel? You know how to turn it on. Every single one of you has a different job, but you use the same tool, right? And it just works. You sit there, you sit in front of Excel, you put some formulas in, and relative to your job and what you want to do, it's simple, it's quiet, it just works. And we want to think about the data infrastructure for this world that we're describing in that concept of quiet enjoyment. As I mentioned, um, <clears throat> you know, we've been doing this for 30, 35 years in an industrial case. Um, here in San Diego, San Diego Gas and Electric, very large customer of ours, Jim Avery, I'm not sure where you're at in here, thank you very much. Um, very large system connected to the meter infrastructure, the transformers, the substations, the power generation, the microgrids, the solar power, all of that produces data, it comes together. But we also have other customers here in San Diego, Genentech, the way they actually manufacture pharmaceuticals, Sapphire Energy, who's taking algae and converting that into biofuels. So those are all heavy data intensive industries that they need data to be able to pull this all together. So what are we thinking about in a smart city context? Uh, Michael mentioned it earlier. It's really about all these silos around town and how do we put a common data infrastructure in place that enables those silos to collaborate. Um, and we think about those across the critical physical infrastructures, right? We mentioned those. And then we want to create linkages. And the linkages, the way we like to describe it, is this idea of a triple helix. Um, it's not my term, but I really like uh, the, the concept of a triple helix. And that's creating alignment between industry academia and government, and what are the roles in each of those? So government, really, they set policy. The City Climate Action Plan is a perfect example, a mandate that says we want to get to 100% renewable energy in San Diego. Awesome rule. Um, the Port of San Diego has their Climate Action Plan. These are policy mandates that then trigger things. I take this data infrastructure, I pull that renewable energy data, the solar data and things with that, and I put it in a common infrastructure, what do I do with it? Well, I can take that data and I can present it to the innovation ecosphere. Smart folks like Black & Veatch who's going to get up here and talk and do analytics. But I can also present that data right into um, <clears throat> like the university, for example, UCSD, and create a pipe so that the innovation cycles, the undergraduates, the postgrads, the directed researcher all have real world problems to work on. And the role of industry in that is really to figure out how to capitalize it and monetize it and make it sustainable and make it efficient, right? So that it, it can run on its own, that it's not just a funded thing that comes from some funding source, but it's actually a sustainable business model that operates over time. 
So with that, I'd like to um, highlight two upcoming events that illustrate some really smart things going on in San Diego. Uh, May 20th to 23rd, we're going to do a Smart City Hackathon at UCSD. And that's going to basically take some of this siloed data from the city infrastructure and pump that into the university and drive applications. And then on March 17th, we're launching at the San Diego Supercomputer Lab something called the Sigma Lab, which is consuming utility data that's sampled 120 times a second. Um, bringing that into the supercomputer environment, and they're using that to do event detection on the grid. So with that, I'd like to say thank you.